Hi parents, thank you for checking out this video. I'm Elaine from Great Solution, Jimmy Math. In this video, I will be explaining PSLE questions that involve the topic of ratio and percentage. Now we are familiar with the topic of ratio and also familiar with the topic of percentage. Sometimes a question would incorporate two or more of these topics and the student will be expected to apply multiple skill set in one question. Ratio and percentage is a popular combination that we see in PSLE questions. The first question we'll be looking at is taken from Rosyth Primary School and it is worth 3 marks. There were 3 types of flowers in a garden. There were 352 stalks of orchids. The ratio of the number of stalks of tulips to the number of stalks of lilies is 5 to 3. The total number of stalks of tulips and lilies was 56% of all the flowers. How many more stalks of orchids were there than tulips? Now, as you can see in this question, we have ratio and percentage present. Now, the key concept of this question is to find how many flowers are there in one unit. Since we are dealing with ratio, our key objective is always to find the number representing one unit. All right. Since the tulips and lilies make up 56% of the flowers, that would mean that the orchids would make up 44% of the flowers. And 44% would be 352 flowers. From there, we will be able to find out how many tulips and lilies there are. And that number would be 8 units. All right, so let's get started on the ratio. The number of tulips to the number of lilies is 5 to 3. So let's add a column for the number of orchids since there are three types of flowers. Now the tulips and lilies make up 56% of all the flowers. So let's write that down. That would mean that the number of orchids would be 100 minus 56, which is 44% of the total number of flowers. Since there are 352 stalks of orchids, 44% of all the flowers would be 352. From here, we can find the total number of tulips and lilies simply by calculating how many flowers are there in 56%. So 352 divided by 44 times 56, that would give us 448. Since the number of tulips and lilies make up 8 units, That would mean 8 units is equal to 448. Alright, let's go ahead to work out 1 unit. So 448 divided by 8, that would give us 56. So going back to the question, it's asking us for the difference between the number of orchids and the number of tulips. Since the number of tulips make up 5 units, let's work out how many flowers are there in 5 units. So 56 times 5 gives us 280. So this is the number of tulips. Since we already know that there are 352 orchids, let's just go ahead and subtract 280 from 352. And that would give us 72. And that's the answer to this question. Now let's look at the second question that involved ratio and percentage. This is taken from Nanyang Primary School and it is worth 4 marks. Mr. Ng had some red pens, blue pens and green pens. The ratio of the number of red pens to the number of blue pens was 2 to 3 and the ratio of the number of blue pens to the number of green pens was 9 to 7. 
after he gave away some green pens and bought 26 blue pens, the total number of blue pens and green pens decreased by 25%. In the end, the total number of red pens, blue pens, and green pens he had was 576. How many green pens did he give away? Now, as you can see, we have a couple of ratios here and percentage here. Okay, this is a very lengthy question, okay, which tends to intimidate some students. All right, therefore, it is very important that we organize the information here. All right, and this would allow the students to only focus on the important parts and that would also help to prompt them what the next step should be. Now we are looking at two ratios here with one thing in common and that's the number of blue pens. All right, the blue pens is represented by three units in the first ratio but nine units in the second ratio. Now since the number of blue pens did not change, we should apply constant part all right, to make the number of units the same. After that, we would have our main objective again, which is to find how many pens are there in one unit. After which, we have to calculate the new total units after a 25% decrease in the blue and green pens. This new total units would then be equal to 576. So now let's go ahead to apply constant part ratio. The number of red to the number of blue pens is 2 to 3, while the number of blue to the number of green pens is 9 to 7. Now in order to make the number of units the same for the blue pens, we simply multiply the first ratio by 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. So that would give us a ratio of 6 to 9 to 7. Okay, so he gave away some green pens and bought 26 blue pens. So let's write that down as well. Plus 26 for the number of blue pens. And he gave away some green pens, but we do not know how many. So there's no need to write that down here as well. The total number of blue and green pens decreased by 25%. All right, so the blue and green pens would make up 16 units. Okay, with a 25% decrease, that means that only 75% of the blue and green pens are left. So let's work out what is 75% of 16 units. And that would be 12 units. All right, so let's add this information in the ratio. All right, the number of blue and green pens after would be 12 units. Now, since the number of red pens did not change, it would still be 6 units. All right, from here, we can calculate the total number of units after. That would be 6 plus 12, 18 units. Okay, so 18 units is the new total. And since we know that the total number of pens is 576 after, 18 units is 576. And there we can achieve our next objective of finding how many pens make up one unit. So one unit would be 576 divided by 18, and that would give us 32. Okay, now when we go back to the question, we want to know how many green pens did he give away. Alright, so we have to compare the number of blue and green pens before and after. Okay, so after we do not know uh, the exact number of units, okay, individually for blue and green. So we'll just find out how many pens are there in 12 units. So 32 times 12 gives us 384. Now in the before situation, we know that there were 9 units of blue pens. So let's work out 9 units. 32 times 9 would give us 288 pens. Now since he bought 26 blue pens, let's add that in. And that would give us 314 blue pens. So now we know that 384 is made up of 
314 blue pens. Okay, and now we want to find out how many green pens there are here. Right. So we simply subtract 314 from 384. All right. And that would give us 70. Okay, so we can go ahead and fill in. All right. There are 70 green pens after. Okay, in the before situation, there were 7 units of green pens. So 7 units would give us 32 times 7 and that would be 224. Four. Okay, so there were 224 green pens at first and only 70 green pens after. So that would mean that the number of green pens given away is the difference between 224 and 70. And the answer is 154. And that is our answer to this question. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and also make questions like this look a little less intimidating. If you have any questions for me or have any suggestions as to what kind of topics you'd like to see me cover in the upcoming videos, please leave a comment in the comment box below and also subscribe to this channel for more free tutorials.